welcome to Effie Barker Human Interest. I'm your host, Effie Barker. Today, I will be talking to you about the journey of a Filipino teacher who came to the U.S. who, despite many struggles and obstacles that he had to overcome, he was able to succeed as a high school teacher in the U.S. I am very proud and honored to introduce to you our guest for today, Mr. Jonathan Rubio Garcia. He is a mathematics teacher at Arleta High School in San Fernando Valley. He was awarded as LAUSD Teacher of the Year in 2017. Let's watch this. I'm Jonathan Garcia. I'm originally from Makati, Philippines. I teach uh, 11th and 12th grade. I, uh, I teach uh, AP Statistics uh, at Arleta High School. It's in the San Fernando Valley. Some of my teachers back in the Philippines applied for a teaching position in the United States, specifically in New York. When they came back to the Philippines and they enticed me and encouraged me to apply the same. Jonathan says the whole application process was extremely thorough and he had to endure a lot of questions that he was not prepared of. I applied for a math teacher. So they test you with your knowledge of math. And um, after that, if you pass, then you go to a series of interview done by the district. It was kind of shocked to me when they asked me if I'm good at dealing with kids. How do you set, set up your classroom? How do you uh, work with kids? What, uh, how do you get, deal with kids who has uh, uh, behavioral issues? How do you deal with kids with uh, problem issues? And if that, how, what happens uh, when a fight broke out in your classroom? When Jonathan started, he experienced severe culture shock. The difference between Filipino students in classrooms and U.S. students in classrooms were so extreme. It was really a big shock. The students in the Philippines have more respect for, for the teachers. Not, not that I'm saying that the kids here doesn't really respect you, but it's, uh, it's more, it's basically on our upbringing as Filipinos. The thing is that you expect that to be working in here, wherein it's not. In the beginning, it was, I thought, I was thinking of what method should I use. Teaching-wise, I know how to deliver the lesson, but it's in the manner of managing kids. Because like in, in, a, in the setting that I have in the beginning, which is an inner city school, so there were a lot of gangs and stuff. So gangs, it was kind of hard for me to teach. There was a case where I only have six students and I can't even teach because all of them came from juvie. So it was, it was really a challenge for me to try to find a way to make them in, uh, get to get their interest to make them go back to learning and eventually upon helping with the help of other teachers veteran teachers in the school that I have I was able to uh, more or less at least have them get interested so and it always builds up every year after year so once you get the necessary chemistry or rapport with it, the students, then probably nah, it, that, that did help me a lot in uh, interacting with them. He had to start over. He had to learn everything, especially in classroom management. And also the concept of personal space with kids. I didn't know that you cannot like, even touch a kid here. So like, even though if you were trying to praise a kid for he's doing well, if you can't even give him a pat on the shoulder, that was kind of difficult at first. So I, it was hard for me how to manage in the beginning, but as you go on, you talk to uh, experienced teachers. And, and they tell you and you learn from them. The school that I was in has a lot of Filipino teachers. So that helped me a lot to, uh, to come up with a support system uh, by helping each other with regards to specific kids, uh, with regards to how to deal with uh, administrators and uh, those who are um, work in administrative positions generally. Pretty much that's how I managed to survive. And he learned the rewards of teaching. He says it is gratifying and satisfying. And now I realize here that it's upon building relationship with the kids that kids would treasure you as a teacher and motivate and, and eventually motivate them to learn. That's what I realized um, for the past few years now. And I noticed that when kids come to you for help, because they do, even though that you don't think that they really don't need help, it's really upon the teacher that you must have the heart to help them. 
That's why our profession here is really, really, uh, what do you say, tough, but it's more satisfying and gratifying. Next on Effie Parker Human Interest. There was a case where I had to call in LAPD to pick me up at school because a kid threatened me. Takot na takot ako, so hindi ko alam kung lalabas ba ako sa school or uh, yung tatawag ako, tatawag ako ng 911. Some of us really wanted to quit, but we decided to go and leave our families behind to come here.